Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in this lecture we will be seeing how a mobile phone is establishing a connection or basically how it is able to transmit the information from the mobile station to the base station, various steps that are involved in acquiring the channels. <music> Establishing a UMTS connection, the mobile station synchronizes itself with the strongest base station and this is done by knowing the power levels of the base station that has been transmitted to the mobile station. The MS decodes the BCH that is a broadcast channel and then it acquires the information regarding various things like the spreading code of the preamble and scrambling code for the message part of the PRACH which stands for physical random access channel. The codes that are available, then it accesses the time slots available. The information regarding the possible spreading factor for messages, interference level on the uplink and the transmitter power of the CCPCH which is a common control physical channel, it acquires all this information. Then the mobile station selects a spreading code for the preamble and the scrambling code for the messages. The mobile station then determines the spreading factor for the message. That is how much the signal needs to be spread in the spectrum. Based on the measured signal strength of the CCPH, and the information on the transmit power of the base station, the mobile station estimates the attenuation on the uplink. Attenuation means how much is the path loss. Based on the attenuation, the information regarding on the uplink interference level, the mobile then estimates the necessary power that needs to be transmitted for the preamble. Say if the path loss is extremely high, then the power required will be more. If the path loss is less, then nominal power will be required for the transmission of the preamble. The mobile station randomly selects and accesses the time slots and signature from the available set. The mobile station then transmits the preamble. In case of successful transmission, the base station will acknowledge on AICH which stands for acquisition indication channel means it has transmitted the preamble. In the case the mobile station does not receive an acknowledgement from the base station, it will repeat the preamble with increased transmission power because the mobile station will assume that the preamble has not reached the base station. Once the base station indicates the acquisition of the preamble, that is once the base station tells the mobile station that it has received the preamble, the mobile station will then transmit the messages in the next available time slots. The mobile station waits for an access grant message from the network. If it does not receive these messages within the predetermined time duration, it will repeat all the steps that are performed earlier. This is how a mobile station establishes a connection in the UMTS. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.